This video was sponsored by JLC PCB. Hello everyone. Today I've got for you a brand new side loader. This is Side Loader Zero, a very simple and cheap HUD device based on Arduino Pro Micro. It has built-in 0.42 inch OLED display. You can use onboard USB-C connector to upload Arduino sketches and power the device. It also has a set of AliExpress magnifiers and semi-transparent combiner piece, which lets you see the holographic image from your OLED screen. It was super easy to build and I think in total I've spent like 10 euros on it. Today I will show you how you can make one yourself. I will start by ordering the boards from JLC PCB, but first we will need Gerber files. You can export them directly from Fusion. You can do it by clicking Manufacturing, selecting CAM processor, selecting JLC PCB CAM file and clicking Process file. Of course you can get Gerber files directly from my Patreon page. Now that we have the Gerber files ready, we can place the order on the JLC PCB website. Just click on the Add Gerber file and select the correct zip file. And now we wait a second for it to upload. You should now be able to see the board preview. Here you can change all of the board settings, like board thickness or solder mask color. Once you're done with the changes, just click Save to Cart and place the order. As always, the package arrived very fast. It was safely packaged in nice blue cardboard box with JLC PCB branding. I order all of my boards from JLC PCB since it's the only company that provides exceptional quality. For this build, I've decided to try the red PCBs. The color is really nice and it will match my project perfectly. As always, the board quality is very good. You can easily see all of the traces and solder pads are silvered. So now let's assemble it. First I will mount it on my holder and cover whole board with flags. This will make the soldering way easier. The flags basically make sure that the solder goes where it needs to go. After whole board is covered with flags, I can now cover all of the solder pads with solder. After carefully applying the solder, it should now be ready to transfer all of the components. The absolutely easiest way to assemble this board is to simply transfer all of the components from Arduino Pro Micro. The whole board layout is pretty much the same as the Arduino Pro Micro. And now the microcontroller part is finished. It still needs some more components for the display part. Thankfully this board uses the exact same components as my 0.42 engine board. I've carefully transferred all of the stuff to the new board and I can now test it out if it works. But before I do that, let's clean the board a little using alcohol. After a short while, the board is cleaned of all of the flags and looks way nicer. In the meantime, I've also added a small 3.3 voltage regulator, which will directly power the display. So now let's assemble the whole device. This time I will be using the same optics as in my first 0.42 engine. I will also add a 90 degree prism, which will fix the mirroring issue. I will try to put all of the links in my description. I've also printed a couple of plastic pieces, which will hold everything together. This big piece right here will hold the main board, optics and prism. The second black piece is for the optics and the combiner. I will start by installing the main PCB. It goes directly into the plastic frame, but it's very important that the display goes in first. With the display in place, you can simply push the PCB inside. With the board in place, carefully insert the prism. It goes directly on top of the display and holds it in place. It may be slightly difficult to push it in, but it shouldn't break any parts. Now it's time to install the lenses. This part is pretty easy and straightforward. Just grab the plastic piece and push the lenses inside. The smaller lens goes inside first. After we push inside the second bigger lens, the whole assembly is pretty much finished. And now we can attach the optical assembly to the main plastic piece. First make sure that the both pieces are perfectly aligned. This step is very important. When both parts are in correct position, use your spare soldering iron to merge both pieces together. And now the assembly is almost complete. Of course it wouldn't be really useful without a semi-transparent combiner. This piece goes directly on top of the lenses 
and can be easily pushed inside the plastic part. And just like that, the device is almost complete. Of course, it still needs some kind of cover, which will prevent the parts from falling out. I've designed this big plastic piece, which goes directly on top of the main part. Once again, make sure that all of the parts are properly aligned. When you have them in the correct position, use your soldering iron to melt both pieces together. And now the side loader is finally finished. You can plug it into your PC and see if everything works properly. So now all of it needs is some kind of software. I can't really code, but thankfully there is some example code on the display manufacturer website. You can find the example code in this section right here. Just click on the link to download it. Now that we have the software ready, we can upload it to side loader. This is super simple. Just connect the USB-C cable and select the correct board in Arduino IDE. And now click upload. You should now be able to see a bunch of bitmaps. Of course you can put here anything you want. It works like a basic SPI screen. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And as always, huge thanks to my patrons. See you later and goodbye.